hey guys welcome back to another episode of cooking with tanya well today i'm doing a little baking today i'm gonna make banana bread so i'm gonna be using very simple ingredients just the basics so here i have three banana they're really ripe um i have one and a half cup of flour all-purpose flour and then i have one cup of sugar i have two eggs and quarter cup of um, melted butter I have some dry cranberries that I'm gonna add to it and I also have one teaspoon of salt I'm gonna add some flax seed and some chia seed so stay tuned I'll be right back <music> Okay, so first I'm gonna crush my bananas. Okay, so these bananas are really ripe. They're like, they're overripe. So instead of throwing them out, I decided to make a banana bread. I don't know lately I've been buying banana and every time I buy some banana they they end up just rotten and I have to throw them out or I end up putting them in the freezer and never use them okay so I have my banana now I'm gonna add one cup of sugar Quarter cup of melted butter. Then I'm going to add one egg. I'm just going to mix this out. Okay, so now I'm going to set this aside and then mix my dry ingredients. So here's my flour. So one and a half cups of flour. And I'm going to add my one teaspoon of salt. Okay, to that I'm going to add some baking powder. I don't have any baking soda. And about a spoon all right okay next I'm gonna add my flax seed some chai seed And I'm just gonna mix this up. Okay, and I'm gonna combine my dry ingredients to the wet ingredients. I'm just gonna mix it up. Thank you. 
Okay, so my oven is already preheated at 325 degrees. Okay, next I'm going to add my dry cranberry. I'm gonna prepare my baking pan okay so I don't have the regular bread pan so I'm gonna be using this so there's some leftover butter I'm just gonna wet it with paper towel and grease my pan This is well greased. Now I'm going to add my mixture. Okay, I'm going to grab my spatula and get the remainder out. Okay, this is all done. Give it a little shape, make sure it's even. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and add a few more cranberries on top. Do it so now I'm gonna put this in the oven and I'll be back in an hour okay guys this is it this is my banana bread or should I say cranberry banana bread I baked this for about four to five minutes in the oven and this is the result look how beautiful it is oh my god I can't wait to dig in I just had a nice slice of this banana bread and let me tell you this banana bread is so delicious you won't be able to tell that there is flax seed or chai seed in this banana bread it is so good um, you could have this for breakfast with a nice cup of coffee or a late supper with a nice tall glass of cold milk <laughs> 